This week we profile an artist featuring Duxbury's own Sandy Sweetser. Her primary medium is watercolor and her work has been featured in the Massachusetts State House. PCN sat down with Sandy to get a glimpse of the day-to-day goings-on of a local artist. We bought this house 18 years ago. It's an 1844 Cape. And we have a big barn and a lower barn. And that's where I keep a lot of my artwork. I do paint a lot in the house, in this porch, because it's beautiful light. But I take watercolors wherever I go. If I go on a cruise, I take my watercolors. I've been an artist probably all my life. I can remember getting that box of Crayola crayons, the 48 ones, brand new. Oh my God, that was exciting when I was a kid. So yeah, I have painted a long time. I've painted mostly oils in the beginning, and then I switched to watercolors because it's very portable. I've taught watercolors, I've taught oils, I've taught children, I've taught Residents at Bay Path Nursing Home, we had a big art show. It was wonderful. Everyone had a corsage and 10 students and they did fabulous paintings. So my porch here is a great spot to paint because it's nice and bright. I'm working right now on a couple of um, pictures for the Yacht Club. Uh, not for them, but about them. I love this Sun Tavern picture that I did for Larry. This is the fall version. I had my class for a homework assignment. I emailed everyone and said paint a lobster and we got some great lobster paintings that are at the State House. All right, so this is my barn. This is my lower barn. The post and beam barn is over here. This was the North Hill Stables. This was a horse farm and my husband during college days rode here, which is kind of cool. Um, so we bought the house. My husband put this little porch on here. We put a lot of windows in here. This part of my barn was a construction business. Um, and now it's my art studio and antiques collection. It's my collection. That's what I call it. And um, this part of my barn was the Snug Harbor restaurant down in Duxbury. It was across the back of Talbot's before it was Talbot's. And it was a nice restaurant with a water view, which is what we probably would like right now. So here's some of my starfish pictures. I have the art books for children, the Duxbury Historical Book. This is a very fun beach book for kids, and you can paint on these and then cut them out and frame them. And it's all about the beach, really fun. Then I have the Holly book, Holly Days books, all Christmas, Christmas in Duxbury. And here's the Christmas card collection here. This is King Caesar House. This is Nathaniel Windsor House. This is new. I did this down on Cove Street about two weeks ago. It's a beautiful spot. And then we did Bug Light as an assignment in my class. Everyone painted a lighthouse. This is the bag that was the 375th anniversary bag. And I designed it. And one of my friends, Grace Healy, sewed them. So this building has been my little special area after my husband and I put some windows in all by ourselves and put the, the uh, walls in and we did the floors. They are oak floors from, I don't know, the 1920s. Uh, so we've been here, yeah, 18 years I've been using this building. One winter though, the ceiling did collapse. That wasn't too good, so we just left it this way and it's hopefully gonna be fine. But this is a fabulous house. We put a pool in, we renovated the whole house when we moved in here, and it's beautiful to sit out here and paint. I have peach trees, we can paint peaches, flowers, birds. I have little birds come here all the time because I put the seed right out on a little dish, and it is a beautiful spot, especially Duxbury. We love it. <laughs> 